In this video, we will learn how to create a unit test project using C Sharp and NUnit. To do this, we will need two projects. The first project will be the source project, which will contain the class and the method we want to unit test. And the second project will be the unit test project, which will contain the class and the unit tests. So let's open Visual Studio and click on create a new project. First, we will create the source project, which will be a console application. So let's go to all project types and select console. Here, select console app with .NET Framework. Click next, set the project name. And click on create. Let's add now in our source project a source class for which we want to create the unit tests. Right click on the project, go to add and select class. And here let's add a simple method which decides if a number is positive or not. And that's it. This is the source project. Now we can go to the second part where we actually create the unit test project. To add the unit test project, right click on the solution, select add new project. So from the project type, select library. And here select class library with .NET framework and click on next. Set the project name and click on create. Now we need to add the dependencies needed by any unit. To do that, right click on the unit test project and select manage nugget packages. Make sure you are on browse tab and here search for any unit. Click on N unit and select install. Once this is installed, click on N unit 3 test adapter, which is needed to run tests in Visual Studio and select install. And that's it. We just created our first unit test project with N unit and C sharp. And now we are ready to add a class and a unit test. To do this, right click on unit test project and select add new class. And now we are ready to create our test method. We have to declare the test attribute in order to indicate this is a test method. And import an unit framework. Just creating an object for our source class and calling the is positive number. And now we're ready to make an assert. And that's it. We just created our first unit test. Now let's give it a run. To do this, go to test and open test explorer. And just click on run all tests. And as we can see, our unit test has successfully passed. So just a short recap when creating a unit test project with an unit, we have to add the an unit and any unit tree test adapter dependencies. In test class, we have the test methods. The test attribute indicates a method is a test method. For any unit tree, we don't need to declare the test fixture attribute for classes because it's optional. So we can remove this. 
we can improve this code a bit by adding a setup method where we create the objects needed by the test methods. So let's remove this line and add a setup method. Setup attribute is used to provide a common set of functions that are performed just before each test method is called. Now we can go in Test Explorer and give it another run and we get the same results.